In this problem, a 900 kilogram car traveling 15 meters per second to the right collides with a 3500 kilogram semi-truck that's initially at rest. The collision lasts 0 0.70 seconds, during which the average impact force is 24,100 newtons. All right, so this is a momentum and impulse problem. So how I want to start out is under each object, I'm going to write P, M, V, since remember P stands for momentum, M is for mass, and V is for velocity. And I'm also going to write impulse, force, and time. All right, let's start filling out some given. So our, tr our car is 900 kilograms, so I can go ahead and write that down for the mass of the car in both cases. And the car is initially traveling 15 meters per second to the right, so that is the velocity at the initial time. The truck is 3,500 kilograms. And again, that doesn't change during the collision, so I can write that in for both masses. And it says the truck is initially at rest. So this initially at rest, also I don't see any motion lines right here. So that tells me that my truck's initial velocity is zero. The problem also tells me that the collision lasts 0 0.70 seconds. So my time is 0 0.70 seconds. And the average impact force is 24,100 newtons. All right, so now I have my problem set up. I see I have a couple areas where I can make some calculations. So anytime I know two of the three things uh, where I've listed them in groups, then I can figure out the other. So the first, let's figure out the impulse. Remember, J stands for impulse. So we're going to do 24,100 times 0.7, and we get an impulse of 16,870 newtons times seconds. But remember that newtons times seconds is the same thing as kilograms times meters per second because a newton is a kilogram times meter per second squared. Multiply that by seconds and it becomes kilogram meters per second. Right, that's actually our first answer on the left side. So the magnitude, that's what those bars around it mean. The magnitude is 16,870 kilogram meters per second. Newton seconds would also be correct, but that's not going to be an option under our units. All right, next let's go ahead and calculate the car's momentum. So the car's momentum, we can multi use the equation P equals M times V. You get 900 times 15, which gives me 13,500 kilogram meters per second and the truck's initial momentum is zero. So let's remember that our definition, so our definition of impulse is the change in momentum of each object. Remember momentum is going to be transferred from one object to the other during the collision. All right, to find the car's final momentum, I'm going to take 13,500, and I know that this car had momentum to the right. When the car collides with the truck, that momentum is going to initially decrease. So I'm going to subtract 13,500, uh, 13,500 minus 16,870. And when I do that, I get a negative 
3,370. So this is the one place where I actually do like to use negatives in my samples. And we'll write down that negative 3,370 kilogram meters per second. What this negative means is that the impulse was greater than the car's initial momentum. So I like to think of that as the car lost more momentum, more momentum than it had. So this car actually reversed directions. And so this car is going to end up moving to the left. Let's go ahead and actually write in some answers that we already have. So for the car, we have a initial momentum of 13,500 kilogram meters per second. That's going to be the same for all of these units. And for the truck, we had zero initial momentum. Remember that these bars mean magnitude. So even though we got a negative number for the momentum of the car, that negative just means to the left, but the, and the magnitude of the momentum is 3,370. For the truck, I know that the, wh however much momentum the car lost, that's what the truck's going to gain. So I can take the truck's initial momentum of zero and add the impulse and get 16,870 kilogram meters per second. And that will be my next answer. And finally, I can calculate the velocity. So if we know that P equals M times V, then we also know that if I divide both sides by mass, so P divided by M would give me the velocity. So if I take the momentum, divide by the mass, so I'm going to do 3,370 divided by 900, and I would get 3.74 really a negative 3.74 meters per second because that kilogram is going to cancel when I divide and that will be the car's final speed to, so 3.74 meters per second and that negative sign told me that the car ended up moving to the left remember the car lost momentum the impulse was bigger than the car's initial momentum and lastly I can do 16870 divided by 3,500 and find out that the truck is going to have a final momentum of 4.82, sorry, a final velocity of 4.82 meters per second. And the truck ends up moving to the right. We can tell that because we got a positive number or a better way is common sense because if the truck was sitting still, it got hit um, on the back of the truck, then that truck is going to start taking off to the right.